Welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in. You are looking at a very ugly chart of Bitcoin. This is a daily chart. Today is March 29th, 2021, 11.45 a.m. Central Time. Let's go. So today you can kind of uh, understand a little bit better how people are making the argument that Bitcoin could possibly go to 100,000 this cycle plus. Now, really, this bull cycle kind of started back here uh, somewhere in mid to late October. Uh, this is kind of right where it first gained a little bit of steam. Uh, in fact, this Fibonacci time zone uh, was pretty accurate here. Now, what you are seeing here is a channel, uh, Fibonacci time zones, Fibonacci support and resistance over here. And we'll get to this here in a second. But the Fibonacci time zones I've measured using some dates back in 2020. So there are two sets of Fibonacci time zones here and some dates in January of 21. Now, interestingly enough, both of these measurements taken from, you know, almost eight months apart uh, are showing that something could happen in April. One Fibonacci time zone is pinning April 18th, April 17th. The other one's pinning about April 20th. So 420, uh, go, you know, go figure. Um, if Bitcoin stays trading in this channel that it has been since October 20th, 2020, you know, basically the last seven months, you can kind of see where this thing ends up. I've heard some chatter about the bull cycle lasting until September. So this purple box here represents September. September, you can kind of see, September 1st, September 30th, well, you get the point. One thing that's interesting about this is there is a Fibonacci time zone that pops up uh, right here off my metric from uh, 2020. And interestingly enough, we have a very important Fibonacci uh, resistance and support uh, level right here as well. Uh, this, like I said, is very important for the mere fact that why can't I zoom over? Okay, come on. There we go. Not sure what was going on there. We have what's called the golden ratio, 1618. So interestingly enough, I, I do think that, uh, you know, somewhere in this, you know, Bitcoin has every bit of potential, uh, statistically speaking, uh, if it sticks to this channel of hitting 95,000, by July 4th or August 21st. I think it would be more likely to uh, maybe see this August 21st, but anything can happen. Uh, and, and statistically speaking, if this trades within this channel till August, uh, you know, we definitely could see 115,000 by September 1st. We could see 99,000 by September 1st we could definitely see 122,000, uh, correct me, yeah, about 123,000 by September 30th. Or we could definitely see 108,000 by September 30th. So when you see these, uh, these calculations about, uh, you know, where Bitcoin might be at this fall, most of these are being based on the current channel Bitcoin has been trading in within the last seven months. And this is assuming Bitcoin will keep traveling in this channel for the next six to seven months. Uh, my guess is smart money moves out at about 1.618, the golden ratio or just before. Uh, this definitely could be a top. For Bitcoin, I do I do see that argument. Uh, in a, in addition, I mean, you could make the argument that this thing could go up to two hundred thousand 
by fall. Uh, we're not going to get into that because I hate predicting things that far out. I just wanted to illustrate the potential this bull run has if Bitcoin sticks to this channel. So I hope you guys found this little snippet on Bitcoin interesting. Uh, like and follow. Uh, if you want some more TA, we'll be doing we'll be covering Bitcoin, a lot of ADA, some ETH, uh, BQX, VGX uh, soon, and some of the other altcoins as well. Uh, I do think there are some hidden gems out there still, and uh, I, I do think that uh, they will uncover, uh, you know, within the next month or two. So that's it for now. We'll stay tuned in for Bitcoin. Uh, here a little later on. I do think that we may see Bitcoin come back up and test the 60,000 mark, you know, first week of April, April 7th, somewhere in there. Uh, that seems logical to me. Whether or not it breaks, I think if it doesn't, we'll just kind of do one of these. And somewhere around April 18th, if Bitcoin has not already shot up, uh, we will definitely, hopefully, see Bitcoin launch again and maybe uh, try that $70,000, $75,000 mark. So there you have it, folks. Uh, that's Bitcoin TA. We'll catch you guys later.